In this video, I'm revealing 10 secrets behind my tricks. Like, do you know I don't shoot a house, but actually a set? Because in a home, you can't really get away with shooting things, I don't know, like this. Thanks to Google Career Certificates for sponsoring a portion of this video. And our first secret to kick it off is that we don't use green screen. So I don't know why this is here. We're gonna turn that off. All right, let's. So I love pushing our tricks to be as fully practical as possible, whether that means we actually put a real ice plunge in a living room, or we have a set built on a beach and we transition through the wall. Or one of my favorite examples of using no green screen is when I'm at a county fair, and at one point I stand on the chalk drawing and I'm struggling to hang on, but then I fall into the abyss of the drawing. And we were able to pull that video off with a latch door and a hole underneath. And then we fly in a piece of wood for our actress to stand on at the end to prove once again that it really is a chalk drawing. I love when it's practical. On to the next secret. So my videos look like it might be just me and a friend filming at home, but that is not true. There is actually an entire production team behind me. Hey! They're awesome, super creative, and I would trust them with anything. Oh, guys, speaking of trust fall. <laughs> So I did start making these videos by myself, but over the years I've been lucky enough to grow a team and we shoot out of this warehouse in LA. And it doesn't matter what your role is in the business, people on the finance team and people who are producers, we all join together on Mondays and we go to the writer's room to find the very best ideas. All right, for this next secret, let's talk about how much these videos cost to make. So we intentionally make my videos look DIY or homemade, and that's so that you believe into the magic a little bit more, when in fact, they're actually pretty expensive to pull off. We recently made a video where it costs like $10,000 for every finished second of the video, which is pretty nuts. We also just built a case for a brand new short film, Stranded Part Two, which I hope you enjoy, because it is also our most expensive short film endeavor ever. The next secret is I don't make money the way most traditional YouTubers do, and that's because the YouTubers I know make the majority of their income from AdSense, which is when YouTube splits its ad revenue with its creators. But my ad revenue has been typically lower because the audience is so international, so the majority of my studio's funding has to come from things like brand sponsorships, and I wanna thank Google Career Certificates for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, typically a brand would provide a creator with what we call talking points, and that's often why you might hear a creator present their sponsorships like this. Google career certificates help people get in, in. I mean, I gotta spice it up more than that. Google career certificates can help you learn job ready skills in under six months. And they're taught and developed by Google employees. Thanks. They recently launched the Google digital marketing and e-commerce certificate, which includes email marketing and designing and running an online store. There are also certificates in the job fields of IT support, and that code is definitely wrong. You also learn data analytics. And who doesn't love a good chart? Except that looks a little high. Do you want to learn more? Go to grow.google slash certificates. And I want to thank Google Career Certificates for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, you probably won't believe this next secret. Now, surprisingly, I've never gotten hurt doing a stunt. Right now, I've clocked almost 160 stunts from falls to dives to wire work. And uh, this is the perfect time to also say, do not try any of this at home because we work with really amazing Hollywood professionals who know the ropes. But don't. Three, two, one. One of my favorite stunts was one where I got to be shot backwards on wires. That was pretty fun. And recently got to do some stunts with Dude Perfect. And that's been slowly curing my fear of heights. I hope to continue doing a lot of safe stunt work. Knock on the good old wood. So surprisingly, working with bigger animals is usually easier than working with the smaller ones because the smaller ones can't usually hit their marks or be trained to do that. Are you hungry? I think he just wants to play. We've gotten to shoot with a lot of different horses as well as a polar bear, which surprisingly only took like seven minutes to shoot with. So usually we make mock-ups with stuffed animals and our team just acts it out on what we want the animal to do and we send that to the animal wranglers and they'll train them for a few days so they can hit their marks. We go through a ton of hard drive space every year because we're making so many videos and some of these videos straight up fail. They don't work, like this one here. 
In this concept, Nate, my buddy, comes up and he's asking for the last slice of pizza, which I've already eaten. So I then begin to regurgitate that pizza. And you can see it's just really gross. It's kind of off-putting. And we shot this video in reverse, which is the cool part of the trick, but the story was kind of lacking. And we realized after we shot it, it just felt weird. So the lesson here is keep creating because not all of them are gonna work out. And, and that's totally fine. So how long do these videos take to make on average? The answer might surprise you. Let me show you. Okay, so it doesn't take that long actually, but uh, from writer's room all the way to posting, it takes probably on average two months per video to get made, but it really depends the set build and what the trick requires. For example, there's some videos that have taken us six months, nine months to make. This one in particular, I remember it took almost a year to find this specific location, and we actually needed a specific grade of the slope at the park. So, you know, some of these tricks, especially when they require really specific perspective distances, they're hard to plan. Okay, ow, ow. So well, I have a lot of really cool props at the studio, including this giant oh, donut here, which in the video I was a pastry thief, so we had to build this giant donut to interact with. Um, we've also got like giant mugs, like this one here that we use in a video, which they see. Did someone say time for props? So most of our props are made here in-house by our designers, mostly because it requires a lot of customization for these tricks to work, whether it's using a miniature item like this lighthouse here. I love playing with perspective, so it's so fun to get a real tactile miniature that you can use for the tricks. Or we'll have to custom design some sort of illusion box like this one, which makes your hand disappear, but an item magically pop out. Oh, you get it, it's, it's, a, it's a mirror. And the coolest prop that I know you've never seen before, exclusively designed for us by Mark Rober himself. The last secret is I've got these super sticky plungers that help me climb up walls. Oh. 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 Actually, it's just a rotating room. 250,000 likes, and we'll make another reveal video. Cut. That's the cool. Maybe tell them to subscribe.